What's up everyone, this is Scratch with the Xbox Ambassadors and I've got a video here for you. We're gonna take a look at error codes that are kicked out by your Xbox consoles uh, when you try to do something and it fails. Chances are you've seen these error codes before and you may or may not know what they mean, but I'm gonna show you how you can look them up for yourself and also get troubleshooting steps without having to call support. You might save yourself a little time and I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. So let's jump over to the webpage, which I have linked in the description and I will show you what I'm talking about. So this here is the error and status code search page. And basically this is where you can go to put the code in that your Xbox is displaying and find out what it means. The first thing, however, is to note that error and status codes can be generated by service outages. It says so right here in this important note. And what that means is basically don't waste your time searching for codes if Xbox Live is having a problem and it leaves this handy dandy link to show you what is the service status of Xbox Live. So we can come in here and we can see that the Xbox Live service is active and we still have an error code. We still have a problem. We know it's not a problem on Xbox Live. So we're going to jump back over and we're going to search for it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to basically use the code that's given as an example um, so I can show you. So we're going to just paste that in there and pretend that that was on our console. And it tells me that this occurs when you try to access content from Xbox Live. And then if you look on down here further, it gives you a solution to the problem step by step, as well as some other links to kind of show you um, or to kind of guide you into like a deeper dive in case, you know, this solution doesn't help. So you're not left out to dry. You have all sorts of links and things to search now. What happens if the code that you have is not here? So let me just add some characters to it so that we know it's not a real code. What happens if you put in something bogus? Well, that is going to open up this thing and say there's no support articles found for this error. Now that doesn't mean that it's not an error code that's showing up on your console. Not every error code has a support article because some of them may just not be that common. However, it does kind of give you some tips to try again to make sure you didn't type it wrong, make sure you have the correct formatting, that sort of stuff. And after you've gone through those steps and you realize that you did in fact put it in correctly and it is still not showing up, then you can come down here and it has this handy little form to fill out which will automatically post to the xbox.com forums. So you just kind of pick what you want here, Xbox 360, Xbox One. You put in your error code and then just give a brief description basically good practices here you want to put in what you've tried what your expected result is and what your actual result is um, that you're getting if any of this can be reproduced or whatever and basically just provide as much information as possible and then when you when you have everything in here correctly this button will turn green and you can post to the forums now keep in mind that this is actually going to post to the actual xbox.com forums and it is going to be in a public post so what that means is you don't want to post any game tokens. A game token is a 5x5 or a 25 character code meant to redeem things like DLC, video games, um, Microsoft money, any of that sort of stuff. You're going to want to make sure you do not put that in there. Only error codes. I will link, leave a link in the description to another video that shows you how to redeem a code if you're trying to redeem something um, for download. Um, and it'll explain all of that in there. So I won't go into detail. but Basically, you have these options here, and hopefully it helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If the video helped you, it would be super cool of you to leave a like and um, subscribe if you want to see more. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this, and if you have any questions, you know where to find me. So I will catch you guys all in the next video, and thanks for watching.